recent Letterman scandal that has everybody talking about, a lot of people are wondering where you should draw the line when it comes to office place romances. So here to help break it all down for us is celebrity relationship expert and psychologist, Dr. Nancy Marammer. Welcome to the show. Great to be here. here. You got a lot going on with this particular topic, right? Yes, it keeps yeah. us busy. Huh? It does. But the big deal here is celebrities versus real people. There's, there's a difference in how it's handled with them versus everybody else, right? Well, celebrities are used to feeling very important and they're used to having a lot of attention. And so they're much more susceptible to an affair or a relationship outside of their primary relationship because of the nature of celebrity itself. Okay. So they're more at risk. It's kind of a setup for them to, to be taken in by an affair much more easily. Right. Doesn't excuse it. And I think we're starting to see that right now that uh, in light of the current situation with David Letterman, mm -hmm. he's not going to get off easy. He's not. And in no. real life? Typically, you don't get off too easy. There's a lot harsher. It, it is a lot right? harsher, and a lot of I think a lot of businesses really want to keep the business rolling, yeah. keep things moving. I'm sure that that's exactly what the network wants to do. Mm -hmm. They want to keep things going smoothly, but at the same time, they don't want to ignore the situation, because what they do with David Letterman is going to set the bar. Yeah, exactly. Because he's not the only one, right. and he won't be the first. And or won't the last. be the last either. No, not the first or the last. <laughs> All right. So there's a lot of negative effects when it comes to office romance, and let's go down a couple of the points here. One of the things you says there's an increased risk in uh, too much disclosure, right? Of too much disclosure because their lives are too public and some celebrities really enjoy the publicity, others do not. Yeah. And in this case, he's not going to be able to manage trying to mend his marriage in a quiet sort of a way, the way somebody perhaps in an office situation might. And in an office situation, you might be revealing sensitive company information to one another. That's exactly. the big deal right there too, right? Yes, it okay. is, it is. All right, also you blur the lines, you distract the environment, and it also affects the other employees too. Very much so, there's a jealousy because they assume you're getting things that they're not because you're having a relationship with the boss, uh -huh. that you're getting a promotion or just more attention or just more inside information right because you're having that you talked about this a little bit earlier but proximity is a big issue especially for celebrities you're constantly on the set with them all the time you're talking about a lot more than you would normally if you just had casual encounters exactly. with them. is that the same with people in the office well That's no because you're usually well not in David Letterman's case but most celebrities are acting out love scenes yeah with their uh, co-hosts and their and their uh, relationships become much more elevated mm -hmm. because the relationship that they play out on the screen is very romantic it's much more romantic than what happens in real life yeah. But whether you're playing out the scene or whether you're off the set with it with the same star mm -hmm. or the same co-star, you really are developing a different kind of relationship. And if your ego isn't really solid, if you're not a really stable person with a stable relationship, it's very easy to get taken in and to get carried away. Yeah. So you are more at risk. Well, obviously, David Letterman had to handle his particular situation very publicly. But let's say you are in the office. You yes. meet some a guy or a girl that's good looking. You like mm -hmm. them. You have mm -hmm. chemistry. What's supposed to happen? Are you supposed to say no relationship until one of us leaves? Does <laughs> one person quit their job? Well, how do you handle that? You have to decide based on the fact that rules cause repercussions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you break a rule, there's going to be repercussion. You're going to be moved to a different department. Mm -hmm. You're going to be uh, quietly moved to another organization. They'll find you a job somewhere else, uh, or they'll just separate, find a way to separate you from that relationship because yeah. it does interfere with the running of the business. Got to figure out if it's all worth it too. Thank you, you so sure much, do. Dr. Thanks Good to so have much. You here. Good to be here.